So hey guys, how's it going? This is the next day, Big John with J Custom Builds. So I went and got these guys today and I got these right here because it's gonna go on the bottom return line. And so, I mean, I could put the other ones on there, but you know, this is the, this is the new line that's gonna replace the old one. I just gotta cut a little bit off of it. So I got that and then I uh, got to charge this battery. The battery on blue actually uh, died. Tried to start it, I don't know, last week or sometime early this week and it wouldn't start. So I ended up getting a new interstate battery for it. So I'll pull that one out maybe tomorrow. This, this one actually has to be charged up. They said for at least four to six hours. So I'm going to leave it on the tender all night and then I'll... Uh, I'll slap it in. So I'm going to take this guy right now and I'm going to uh, blow it all out. I cleaned up everything in there as best I could. And I rinsed it out with gas several times and uh, let it sit in the sun. There's nothing in it. It's absolutely bone dry. I'm going to blow it out and then I'm going to start slapping this baby back on. Pressure's all full. All right. So I cleaned it up a little bit. Looks a lot better and it blew everything out really, really good. So uh, let's get this girl back on the bike. So here's the new hose. And I, I got two different kinds of clamps, guys. I'm gonna show you guys. So, there's a, bigger one out. there's a couple of bigger ones in here. So I got this style and I got this style. They're pretty much, they're pretty much the same. It's just that this one actually crimps and this one has a screw, but they're not that much different. See, this hose is really soft and this one's really hard. It's a fuel oil line. So I got this type to use on the bottom. So let's get this line ready. Goes on just like that and it comes around and it goes right to the drain. Let's see which one I'm gonna be able to, to get on there. This, this one will actually work pretty good. That's actually how I want it to be. So let's tighten this girl up. I'll show you what I'm doing. You actually don't really want them to spin. And I like how these are, let me give you a bigger one here. I like how these are thick and they're actually rounded off so it's not actually pinching the, uh, the hose. I think that's actually really good. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then this guy here, that one's on there really really good too all right so let's get this girl back in there so pay attention to what you disconnect right because I got this it's got to come up I got this it's got to come back inside of there as well and there's really nothing else check the starter wire that's actually pretty good and the one that's coming from the starter to the battery and what else do we got all that other stuff goes inside of it. So I'm gonna take this because it's gonna get fed down in there. So this 
It's going to go back inside like this. But all this got to get lifted up. in there far enough to get all the wires around wish I could show you guys in here there we go what's going on there we go that goes in there and then this comes back around oh, let me get that out of the way because these go up here and then this goes down to here. This goes back underneath, just like that, gets plugged in. So let me get the light over here so that I can actually see what's going on on the inside. I'm grabbing the positive wire now and sticking it back under. You gotta use both hands a lot when you're doing stuff like this. Okay, so that's back up. And then the negative, so the positive's here, negative goes on that side, positive's over here. Battery sits down in there, that gets plugged there, this gets plugged here. Everything's looking good, guys. I know, um, you know, I mentioned this in some of my previous videos. I'm uh, actually pretty anal. This is what the other ones look like because they're in the back they're holding on the dust cover right and they're underneath all that stuff and so just trying to make them look a little bit better so let's see here make sure i got everything here so this goes to the alarm system that kind of just goes like so and that bolts into that this kind of just slides on that those lines are still on there Everything looks good. Okay, guys, I'm going to get these two little guys in here. I don't know why that's not lining up. You know what? Let me get those half inch ones in there first. Get the other one in there. It's a lot easier when you have two people doing this. So I'm trying to record this as best I could. So I'm going to tighten up these two top bolts that I have up here so I can take most of the play out of it. Okay, that's good right there. And then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll put these little guys back in there and they'll line up a little bit better. Now I'm going back to the small one. Hoping that I can get, hoping that I could get uh, everything in there lined up. Shorter ratchet would have been better. Let me get the other one. Shorter ratchet works better in here, guys, but. So the oil tanks looking good. Now I'm gonna get these two uh, right here tightened up. 
and then I'll finish wrapping up everything in here. Get the cover back on. All right, might as well get everything back on in here, right? There it goes. That locked into place. And then we'll get this. And that locked into place. And then this slides on to here and locks. And then this goes inside of here. Let me lift that up. And there we go. And then this guy right here pops over to the top like that. And then there's a little screw that holds the bottom. So now we'll go back to the front. So all that's in down there on the bottom, it's all tightened up. And uh, I got these two bolts in. I got that bracket in there for the coil so the coil won't be vibrating. And get this, get this all nice and set up. So I'll do that tomorrow. You guys have a great night. So hey guys, uh, it's the next day. I got everything back on down there. I got the, uh, the dust cover back on and uh, everything looks really, really good down here. I made sure that I connected all the connections and um, got all that stuff down there ready. All I have is this here and this goes in last. This is what the battery, it's just a, a wire organizer and it goes right there. Just wanted to give you guys a quick view. Everything's back in, the tank's back in, fully bolted minus these two bolts here. I got this connected back here. This right here, the uh, computer cover, it sits back in here, but this goes underneath there, right? And then it's just got a, a black little tab that holds that down. And then you can see where this lines up with the uh, bolts right there. And so there was a tie wrap going from here all the way through there and back around. But unfortunately I didn't actually get that on before I got all those covers back on there. And so I'm gonna try to figure out a way how to strap it in there really, really good without having to do that. So I'll figure something out. But yeah, everything's back in. I just gotta get all this plugged up. So let me go ahead and uh, get the camera set up for you guys. And then these guys right here, the retainers, these are gone, right? They're all, these are old and all the little rubbers came off of that. And so I'm going to replace these. You just kind of bend them out and slide them. So I actually ordered these already on eBay and they uh, should be coming. This line right here, I just got to cut it a little bit, like a quarter of an inch and, uh, get that back in there and i already got this one side on there so yeah let me get set up here and then i'll i'll uh, get you guys uh going so i could finish this off all right so let's get that right there because that's the way it's gonna go okay so those are in this is in i just got to put that tab in there and uh that's on there, that's on there. This right here goes in, right there. Where the hell is this sitting at? Oh, it's sitting right here like this. Just like that. And then this, the wire there. We're almost there, guys, we're almost there. All right, so this goes like this. It's like that. And I'm surprised there's no, uh, this is just held like, like that, right? And then it gets plugged into this, like that. Okay, so that's there, and that just sits there like that for the battery. And, oh shit, let me, let me get this cable through here because it's gotta go like that. There, that holds that like that. That's plugged in. All these are bolted down. Push that back down so it can hold the wire in. And 
then this guy, like this. Oh, you know what? I might be missing one of those. There might be a tab that slides into this and then it locks into that. I think it goes just like that. But anyways, let's get these uh, tie wraps back on here. So there you go, guys. The tank is back on. Just stick a little bit of motor oil on that so it'll just go down easier. There it is. So that's it, guys. The tank, the oil tank, is officially back on. Minus these two connections. You can see I did a good job cleaning it in there. It's all cleaned out. These are ready to go. I'm going to connect that line right there. Got that return line all in there. Or I should say the feeder, the feeder line. Not gonna fill the oil up or anything and get the battery in there until I get the, uh, the front wheel on there. And once I get the rear wheel on there, get the belt all uh, lined up, get everything back on there, get the, uh, the sprocket back on the wheel, get the new, um, the new rotors on the wheel. I can get that rear wheel on there and then I could finish up the front wheel so I could do the following on the front wheel and then I get the fender on there, get the get everything on there. And then once I get all that stuff on there, then I'm gonna work on these brake lines because um, these all have to be disconnected while I do the fall away. So yeah, that's it for now. So these, these uh, retainer clips will be in on Tuesday. So I'll wait for those. But yeah, guys, there you go. His oil leak is uh, officially fixed. Ah, feels good. I'm actually gonna change the battery out today on blue. I got a new battery right there on the ground. I like Interstate, I've gotten those batteries before and uh, they've lasted me quite a while. So um, the one in blue, I've had it for five, going on five years now. And the battery that's in there, I think was like two years old when I bought it off my wife's uncle. And so that battery is probably like seven or eight years old. So it doesn't want to start anymore. I had the tender on it all this time and it's still it's still dragging really bad and just uh starters just clicking so i'll get that put in there and then i'll go ahead and put the tender on it and leave it in there till it's till it's all charged up so other than that guys you guys uh hope you guys are having a great saturday thank you guys for watching my channel i hope you enjoy the videos that i'm making the weather's getting nice i still have sapphire 2009 ultra classic i still have wolf the 2010 street glide i'll throw some videos up there so you guys can actually check them out my uh, hats and t-shirts right now really really good quality hats really good quality t-shirts they're not cheap by no means j custom builds logos on the hat and on the t-shirts they're $75 right now plus shipping. That is an entry, one hat, one t-shirt, one item is an entry into my current giveaway. I have 98 items left. I'm just selling 90 and I have more hats than that. I probably have like 150 and I probably have like 50 or 45 or 50 shirts, but I'm only doing 98 to make it 200 total. I've already sold 102 and within the last year, little over a year, and I'm sorry that this is going on so long. You know, I had to get some jobs in between and it took me away from doing this. This is actually what I love. This is where I wanna be. And so I'm hoping and praying that those 98 items, hats and t-shirts will go so that we can give one of these beautiful bikes away. They're ready to go. They're ready to be delivered to your house. $75 can win you. They're not brand new, but they're been gone through from the top to bottom. They're beautiful. They run excellent. They have low miles on them. And $75, man, $75 can win you a beautiful repainted, completely redone Harley Davidson. You get to pick your choice, either the 2009 Ultra, which is beautiful, runs great. It's a classic, or you can win the high performance 2010 Street Glide, which is Nardo Gray. They both have fresh paint, all fresh parts on them. They run excellent. I've done all the work on them from top to bottom. $75 can win you one of these bikes. And as soon as we sell these 98 out and announce the winner, I will be making a trip to deliver the bike to whoever wins it within the lower 48. And then I will be immediately turning around and trying to do another 200 tickets for the bike that's left so that I can go ahead and buy another bike and do this all over again. Appreciate you guys. 
Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your love, your encouragement, hanging in there with me, sticking by my side. Let's do this, man. Let's get one of these bikes. Take a chance. Take a chance. There's, you know, like 65, almost 70 people that took a chance on me. They know that their money is in the bank right now. So if you want to be a lucky winner of one of these Harleys, head over to my website right now, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat or a t-shirt for $75. There's no limit on how many you can buy. Buy multiple. The more you buy, the more your chances are to win one of these beautiful bikes. Let's get these bikes given away. In Jesus' name, I pray for that. Amen. Jay Customs out. Love you guys. Have a great day.